What's going on? Tectonic Edge here. Playing, uh, hey, the Pinsword. I played him before. Got the die roll. Nice. Uh, playing Mono Green Tron. Let's see this opening hand. Um, not going to be good. Uh, if you look up in your top right hand corner, I've added the league stats now to my video so you can see uh, where we are in the league. Two wins, one losses. Um, wins Eldrazi Tron, kind of Mulligan, and. Ooh, very nice. We'll keep that. Uh, dredge, losses, burn. Uh, we'll get rid of the blast zone here. Yes. We'll, uh, we're keeping the Sylvan Scrying in case they Ghost Quarter or Field of Ruin us. That'll get us back on Tron for turn four. Gonna start with the power plant and pass turn. I don't remember what deck this guy was playing last time I played him, though. Steam Vents. All right. Was it Storm? It seems like a possibility with that play. But I don't think it was. This could be storms, could be something else entirely too. Alright, there's his mine. He should uh, um, it's pretty obvious we've probably kept turn or tron in hand. Two, does he play something here? Thing in the ice. Okay, so this is just gonna be a yep. Interesting. Do I think he's holding up? I'd, I'd like to play the Karn, but there's a possibility he's holding up a counterspell here. So we'll go for Karn and see if it gets forced. It does not. Let's choose an artifact you own outside the game. Yes. We'll grab the liquid metal coating, see if that lands. It does. All right. We're in a good spot here. We could, probably would have been fine to just play Karn. We'll get rid of that and force him to probably Lightning Bolt if I had to guess. Yep. Targeting the Karn. All right. Makes sense. But it does put him down a mana. It probably wasn't what he wanted to do. It does give him two blue mana. Yep. We'll play the expedition map. Crack it. Grab my tower. Nets us the extra mana. I get the feeling this is going to be a counter spell here. It is not. Well, we'll go ahead and take out his big boy then. If he has cryptic this turn, he's it's going to force him to use it here. Keep, draw, he didn't use it, so he's going to tap it for mana, we're going to pass turn, yep, not pass turn, sorry, pass phase, so he loses the mana, he can't cryptic. 
We're going to play the other Karn. We're going to eat another island. And we're going to run out an Oblivion Stone. And this matchup gets a little rough for him from here. Lightning Bolt would be his best card, I think. Snapcaster Lightning Bolt, yep. And we are on top decks now. Which is a little unfortunate. We're going to grab the Sanctum so when we do get something, we'll have something to do with it. Yep, he's going to swing in for two. Play a thing in the ice. Fit counter here. Not what we're looking for. So let me see. I don't think we can do that before he does that. So we, we just kind of hold and hope at this point. It's unfortunate. But that's going to be probably going to be game there. Yep, he's going to scoop to that. Alright, so if he's running the that build, if, this is feeling very much... Is it just blue red control? Is a little bit of graveyard interaction. Not the most. Oh, I like my walking blister. We'll go down a Karn. I like my O Stone. Ugh. We have three walking blisters. So, yeah, we'll go down a Karn and a walking blister. I didn't see much graveyard. Something tells me he's got something with the great interaction uh, beyond just the. Um, and of course, he's got the Mystic Sanctuaries because he's blue, and there's no reason not to play it. But yeah, this is just feeling like a blue red control deck. That's trying to uh, use the. Thing in the ice flip. But it wasn't a quick thing in the ice flip either. He wasn't actively trying to flip it that much. It was interesting. But I think we have a good matchup here. I may bring in more graveyard hate game three. And does this doom us anything? This. Yeah, it doesn't have Tron, so we'll mulligan that. Into that, yes, we'll keep that. Very nice. We've gotten pretty lucky on just getting natural uh, Tron this league. Theorem Visions, all right. Cool art on that. I think that's one of the secret layer arts. Oh, 
Could he be blue red uh, taking turns? It was a very weird game if it was, but he never got up to five mana, so that's actually a possibility. Hmm. We should hopefully find out more this game. Second Serum Visions, all right. And yeah, yeah, those are the secret layer arts. Nice. Three Serum Visions, all right. He's going to have a pretty stacked hand here. I think I hold the Chromatic Sphere um, unless I draw an Ancient Star. So I can use the Ancient Stirrings to bluff not having Tron. Yep, Power Plant. Best draw is definitely... Oh, there's a random beep. Going to be Veil of Summer here. Because that'll guarantee our Karn lands. Unlikely he does anything but play a land here. Alright, then he probably has a Field of Negation. Or a Force of Negation. Alright, upkeep. Draw. Forest, we'll play the tower. You know what we could do is try and double down next turn. We'll crack this for green since we have a forest in hand. See what we can get. Tower. Yeah, that would actually be interesting. I mean, it's slow though. What's the worst thing you can do if we do that? Okay, it looks like we don't have anything, which is interesting. And I think I'm going to go for the bluff. We're pretty insulated here. Second tower. Okay, it's a remand. That's unfortunate. That one lands. We get to go get an artifact. With two mana. What artifact do we really want here? We want to get rid of his graveyard and draw a card. He may be, yeah, this is probably going to be Counterspell Lightning Bolt. Oh, Mystic Sanctuary, getting back one of the Serum, serum Visions, all right.
and I'll go ahead and crack it. Nice. Well, we know what's on the top. We know we let stuff resolve. Although he's going to get one draw, one cry at the very least. Thing in the ice is probably transforming. This should be a lightning bolt or an abraid. Abraid targeting his own thing because he wants it to transform. Nice. All right, yep, that's about to transform. Yep. That's pretty good. And he gets the Snapcaster back in hand. He should, yep. Alright, well, with things to do... Try and bluff him with this. Yep. And that should allow this to land. Or not. Or he drew a lot of counter spells there. All right, that's rough. It may be in a little bit of trouble this game. Depends on if we can get to an Ulamog. What do we want? We'll take the Congregate Creator. Cast it. He has a counter spell he's using on this. Yep. Yep. And we minus two. Yep. Nice. There may have been some thought for, I guess we did know that he had the way to get that back, so we'll just force a ceremonious rejection. And I guess he was trying to keep, save that for later because it does counter more. He may have another, uh... alright, there's a Narset. What's he going to get? Blood Moon, all right. Well, 
Well, let him get another card doesn't seem good. And that Veil of Summer is actually pretty useful here because he can target it. Eh, unless he has a Lightning Bolt, but my Fugan's beyond a Lightning Bolt range, so. This is probably going to be a Blood Moon. Okay, he's going to draw two cards. There's no real reason to cast it. Um, well, we have one on the field. Double Lightning Bolt isn't the best, and that one's closer to ult anyway. So we'll keep that in reserve. Mystic Sanctuary, getting that back. Yep. I really don't care about the Blood Moon right now because I have answers for days. He's digging really hard for a Lightning Bolt. Yeah, okay, he can't beat. So we were going to Ultimate Ugin. We are going to draw these seven cards. We we're going to put that, uh, all these on the battlefield. Get another card draw. Yeah, uh, he was pretty much dead here. But yeah, interesting game. Uh, definitely not um, the most meta deck to play against, but it still shows up every now and then. Uh, I want to call this, uh, it's pretty much the remains of the Phoenix deck, it feels like. Um, Arclight Phoenix. Uh, I'm not even sure he's playing Arclight Phoenix in this uh, version anymore, but... I guess it's less graveyard reliant than it, than the Arclight Phoenix decks, um, and they're not they're less hasty. It plays more. It really is just the right control. It feels like I mean, with the extra red spells and their way of killing us is the thing in the ice. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Tectonic Edge signing out.